So you want to make professional videos, but you don't want to look like an idiot to your clients? You should watch this video. Welcome back, you 187,000 subscribers, over 40 million views on the channel now. So I wanna say thank you for that. Today, we're talking about professional video. Maybe you're gonna use something like the new Flywoo Cinerase 20 with the DJI 03 on board recording 4K stabilized footage, but your footage still has vibrations in it. There's a lot of ways out there that you can reduce vibration. And today, we're gonna to talk about how to do that on the channel. I'm also gonna give you some examples of how to do that out in the field. We're gonna use the Flywoo DJI 03 ND filter set today. This includes ND filters, six different ones. You can also get a polarizer as well that just snaps on the front of the O3. So I have one snapped on here. I'm gonna show you an example today of flying in acro mode, straight ahead cinema flying, and some more extreme acro freestyle flying. I know most of your clients might not want freestyle, but then again, who knows? They might want some flips and rolls and high throttle stuff. Maybe you're doing a race car chase or drift car chase. So it really depends on what kind of speed you're looking for. And at the high throttle end of your sticks is where you'll see the most vibration out of the DJI 03. Now, some people are taking this camera apart and making sure that the lens is indeed in place. If not, they're taking it and putting a little bit of glue around the lens to hold it in place and keep it from vibrating. Now, that is an issue outside of some of the other issues that was creeped up recently, as well as Madtex video on the DJI 03. So there are some bugs out there with this camera, but today we're gonna see if a simple ND filter can help out with some of the re vibration reduction in this camera. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go out now and let's do some flying with this ND filter set from Flywoo and see how much it does reduce. We'll do with the filter and without. Here we go. All right, guys, we're at the field now. I have all the filters here. We have ND4, we have ND8, we have ND16, we have CPL, we have ND64, and we also have ND32. So we'll go through these one at a time for you. I'll show you examples of each in this review. And like I said before, we're gonna show you without. So we'll do some cinema and a little bit of freestyle with each of these. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and ride along with you in this flight test. First, you're looking at no filter here. This is completely raw footage. And when we fly higher, as we go up higher, I'm gonna give it higher throttle, and this is where you're gonna see these vibrations. If you put this on your large screen TV, you will see some kind of variations in the horizontal tilt. So as we do some freestyle here, you'll see that there is some jitter and some camera adjustment here uh, for the DJI camera. So uh, when I do a hard right yaw snap, you can see this, this drone tilts and it does have a little bit of uh, what we call washout or tumble at some extreme maneuvers but th this is what the footage looks like raw so i wouldn't recommend this to uh, any professional job situation i wouldn't use the dji camera by itself without an nd filter so you'll see a big difference once we add an nd filter on here this is the nd4 filter and i felt like this made just flying out across the field for the first few hundred, few hundred feet, it made a big difference as far as smoothing everything out and really getting that jello um, and that vibration, that side to side vibration to stop in the camera. So again, make this full screen on your big screen TV and you'll see that this does make a difference. It also seems to help with the color saturation. I love how the greens look on this and the blues look up in the sky, but really it depends on what your daylight conditions are. So on the sunnier days, you can go darker in your filter kit, but if you're out there on a day where right now we have some cloud cover, we have some huge cumulus up there, a little bit of sunshine is peeking through, and I feel like about the darkest that I would film with today in this kit is probably the ND8 that we're using here. I can still see off into the distance the cloud cover, and you can see the cloud variation as well. The brightness and contrast looks pretty good. But again, right here, I almost lost the clouds off in the distance there, almost blown out. 
and it seems to handle freestyle pretty well as well. But I'm not a big fan of the way we have dark to light contrast variation between uh, light to dark transitions look not so great on this camera. The O3 struggles with that, a lot like the GoPro does. You can see that it does ha have problems with that. Now with ND16, uh, I still feel like this is the very edge for today for what we can actually get away with because at this point, the black points in the video, they're looking pretty black and some of the ground is looking a little bit muted here. So as we go up in our filter kit, darker to ND32, that's where we're losing pretty much all of our color saturation and everything. It looks like the end of the day where the sun's going down and it's really muted off in the trees, uh, way too dark below the horizon line. And now I have less blue variation up top in the clouds as well. And the O3 will adjust as you point back down at the ground. It does that automatically in the software, but I feel like, again, the vibes are not really showing themselves as much as without the filter again. But, you know, again, the ND32 filter for today is just too dark. And now when we go all the way down to that ND64, this is for guys that live in an area where it's super sunny out, like Arizona or Southern California. If you're filming down there, the ND64 filter might be more used. The further north you go, like Oregon and Washington, we're using ND4s and ND8s a lot of the days. So. Um, very rarely are we using an ND64, and I pretty much never have to use the ND64. Uh, but again, for freestyle, it's going to smooth everything out and just make everything look a little bit better. And I just wish that O3 could adjust uh, the dark to light a little quicker uh, on those fast rotations, because that's where you really see it. If you look real close, that's where you see the dark to light um, transitions happen. And uh, for a client situation, I hate for them to see that type of video adjustment. But uh, you know, then again, the O3 is not the most expensive camera in the world. The CPL lens, however, this seems to have a little more muted look here in this video. And off in the distance in the sun right there, I completely lose the clouds uh, in my blues. And just a little quick y'all snap there. And right now, I just wanted to play around with the quad at the end of this testing for you guys. I just show you that the center race 20 actually freestyles low to the ground pretty well. I did get a little bit of wash out. I had a little bit of tumble a few times playing around with this quad, but the good news is that these lens, when they snap on, if you put them on right, they're not gonna come off. So I just wanna show you there that I'm not able to throw this lens off the front of the O3, which I thought was another important part of this review to, um, because nothing's worse than losing a lens filter out in the field somewhere. They're almost impossible to find. So uh, I think it makes a big difference having this lens kit. So there you have it guys. I always say like proof is in the video when you see it without the filter on the front of this camera it does seem to have more jello and i feel like you can see that in the video quite plainly um, once i added the nd4 on there it seemed to make an improvement over not having one at all so it really did smooth out the jello and the vibes um, that just means the wavy lines across the screen if you go back and look at it you can see kind of some wavy lines as we go across the field and as we accelerate upward um, and and that's where you really see a lot of jello is way up high and that was kind of the point of this test today is to take it up high fly it high as you would like a dji drone and see what kind of footage you come home with you can put it on your large screen tv at home and test out that footage but i, I really think these will make a huge difference they'll also bring out the color and the contrast and the, the black point as well on those sunnier days if you're looking for more blues and more greens definitely the way to do it when i moved up to the indy 8 it also made everything just look a little bit better for today's sunshine. And really you'll choose from these depending on how sunny it is. The sunnier it is, you can go all the way up to that ND64 filter. It's the darkest one on here. And for a little bit of glare reduction, you can use the CPL filter as well. So I felt like that one did pretty good today when the sun went down. We have some cloud cover, so the sun went away for a little while and I used that one during that time period. And that seemed to work pretty well. So. I had a good time testing these, and I, I think that it will make a huge difference with your O3 camera. If you're using one, if you have some filters for yours, let me know. And one more tip, if you're putting these on your O3 camera, the way to put these on is take the ND filter, 
put it in the slot below here there's a little kind of a, a little lip right there you're going to put the very bottom of this on that lip first and then you're going to push that top part over on top of this one and it'll go through right here just just barely go through and it'll actually hold on to it even if you're doing freestyle if you have it on there correctly it won't fall off but thanks again for watching my reviews guys i'm justin davis you can check out the link down below for some flywoo dji03 filters if you want to pick up a set for your quad i think it's i think it's worth the money if you're doing some filming or you just want your camera your video to look even better than it was before and way less jello it makes a difference thanks for watching guys please do subscribe and join our discord as always and join the drone camps fpv community i'll see you on the next one take care